All right, everybody, thanks for checking me out. Here we go again with another Tekken the Shoujo statue from Kotobukiya. Uh, this one is a JC or Julia Chang. Julia Chang is uh, Michelle Chang's daughter who was in Tekken 2. I don't know if Michelle is in the first Tekken. I don't think she was. Anyway, uh, she's a wrestler now. <laughs> from what I remember playing Tekken 6, she uh, her her friend was this uh, wandering warrior wrestler, luchador, uh, who for some reason, I can't remember why, couldn't f fulfill her duties <laughs> as a luchador, so she begged, and I think kind of uh, forced Julia to do it for her, so for some reason, <laughs> that's <laughs> about as good a reason as any, I guess, that she's a wrestler now. Anyway, uh, here she is with the uh, box art, uh, Shinya Yamashita's art, uh, pretty nice on this one. Uh, I really like the art. One kind of weird thing that I guess we might as well get into right away is that on the uh, artwork, it's not very obvious when you look at it that her tongue is sticking out, but it is. Um, it's just really small, and her mouth is small, and it's kind of hard to know. Uh, for the longest time, I thought that was her bottom lip, but it's not. It's her tongue. Um which is, you know, cute, but I think maybe the tongue could have been a little bigger or something could have been maybe it tweaked or adjusted somehow because it's not readily obvious to me, and I think probably most people that that is her uh, tongue, not her bottom lip. But anyway, here's the, uh, the whole illustration. Uh, and then we have uh, the description here. All right. Um... Some pictures of her, very standard stuff. Uh, kind of shows you that she comes with two different heads. All right, so there's that. Okay, so uh, I think the uh, sculpt turned out pretty well uh, in comparison to the uh, box art. Her arms in a little different position. I think that has a lot to do with the extra mask that she's holding there, um, which I don't think was. I don't think it was originally planned. You know, it's not in the illustration, so. Um, but in the illustration, she was holding her arm a little bit further away from her body. Um, I really love this pose, though. This stance is pretty awesome. Um, I like the, uh, you know, looking over the shoulders. Pretty pretty nice. She's like uh, she's like uh, Kim Kardashian or something like that. <laughs> they're, always, they're always doing this looking over their shoulder, showing off the caboose, um, which is fine by me. And uh, the rest of her is pretty detailed and looks pretty good. Uh, you know, she's got these little laces on her boots and things like that, and um, a lot of detail to be seen uh, on the front side of her. So, kind of funny that, I mean, not, well, it's not funny, I just... There, this is kind of one of the problems I have with, uh, personally, with these statues is that they look good from more than one angle. Um, but, you know, when you have them sitting on a shelf somewhere, usually you only get one angle on them. But uh, that's that's fine. That's a good problem to have. Anyhow, I uh, really dig the stance. She's on her kind of tippy toes. And... Uh, Kind of accentu accentu accentuating. <laughs> Can barely get that word out. Uh, her legs and uh, butt and back and um, everything. Very cool. I really dig that stance a lot. She comes with a few uh, accessories. Uh, her mask here is one of them. This is uh, it. It holds. You know, it stays in her hand just barely. See if I can focus here. So, just one piece kind of fits in her hand, and it just hangs there. Uh, backside's a little wonky, but you don't see that, so that's fine. Um, plenty of detail though on the mask itself. It looks good. It looks like it should. It's not any less detailed than her other head. Uh, so, she comes with the masked face as well. Which is what she looks like in the game. I, I don't remember her ever taking her mask off in the game. Probably does, but I don't remember it. Um, so I'll go ahead and put this 
uh, head on and show you what's what. Alright, so there she is with uh, her masked face. Pretty cool. I love that they give us two different heads. I mean, that's pretty awesome of them. Um, the uh, ponytail coming out the back is removable. It's a little hard to put in to the uh, non-masked head. Like the uh, peg <clears throat> has a hard time fitting into the hole on mine. Fits just fine into this masked head, though. Masked head. Um, pretty cool, though. Plenty of detail uh, in the mask and in her face. It's done really well. Like it looks like her face is, has a mask on it. Um, which I don't know. That's the kind of stuff, that, kind of quality you get with these uh, statues that you wouldn't get in, you know, maybe an action figure or you know any other kind of plastic medium. It seems like they. The uh they really Kodo really does a good job nowadays, uh, and I appreciate it. Uh so <clears throat> there's the mask. We'll go ahead and leave that one on for the rest of the review. But uh she does come with this stuff. <laughs> Alright, so uh then we have her base. Uh the base is, you know, pretty standard uh Tekken the Shoujo stuff now. Uh, she comes with the uh, inserts. There are two different inserts. I'll show you real quick. Well, three different, I should say. One with her mask, one without, and then the uh, Tekken project that they all come with, signed by uh, the producer, whose name I still have not learned, but uh, Harada-san, we'll call him. All right. Um, but, you know, the inter interchangeable. I guess uh, you can match whichever you have displayed there, if you are so inclined. Uh, let's do a quick size comparison, shall we? So there's her. I don't have Alyssa yet. I haven't really pulled the trigger on her just yet, but uh, I probably will at some point. Um, there she is with... Uh... So, fits right in. She's uh, just the right size, uh, which is nice. Um... Seems like they're able to keep these girls in scale with themselves inside of the Tekken line, although uh, the Tekken line on a whole is a little smaller than pretty much all the rest of the Bishojo that Kotobukiya does. Um, so, pretty cool. I uh, wanted to go over... Oh, I forgot. Almost forgot. The paint. The paint on her is great. Uh, the colors are really nice. The Kind of the pink and the... Uh, white, it's almost like a pearlescent, pearlescent or uh, silvery white, and it looks great. I really dig it. Um, very nice paint, although this figure does have some kind of errors, at least mine does. I have a couple of little paint, uh, I don't know, misses. Uh, you can see right here, let's get this a little bit more tuned in here. So there's some blue kind of running into the silver there. You can see that uh, some of the pink kind of bleeds over into the silver instead of ending right into the in the groove that's molded into the uh, the sculpt that's sculpted into the leg, I guess I should say. Uh, little things like that. Uh, that that's right here is probably the worst uh, on mine. I haven't really seen any other issues. Um, you can see on her wrist here, like, this little silver buckle. The silver doesn't really follow through all the way through, but that's that's nothing. You'll never see that. But uh, maybe not quite a, um, as far as execution goes uh, and application of the paint, uh, not quite up to snuff as compared to some of the other Vishoja they've released, but uh, definitely very good. Nothing, I wouldn't call it bad by any means. Uh, let's get a look at her front side a little better. Uh, she's got this little necklace there. Um, she's got a pretty good sized uh, chest on her. It's done well. Focus. Um, her feathers on her back are transparent uh, plastic with kind of a, a frosted white, uh, light gray on it. Uh, Looks pretty good in person. Um, it's matte. There's lots of matte colors here. 
Um, the uh, black is very matte. It gives it a kind of a nice texture, uh, you know, possibly leather on all the straps and uh, her briefs. It's pretty cool. Uh, they've they got some of the details from the illustration in. Uh, you can see here, like, the stretching uh, across the back where the uh, little rings are attached to her. They kind of pull her clothes in one direction or the other. Uh, one thing I should probably mention is that she comes out of her base really easily, much more easily than all the other Bishojo so far. Um, to the point where, like, <laughs> she won't, like, she'll leave the base behind. So, that's, uh, I don't know, not a big deal. I mean, once she's sit there, it's it's pretty snug. She doesn't rattle around or anything, but um, just to, you know, just, uh, well, you can see, she just kind of pops right out. Um, so there's her feet. Pretty hollow. Uh, but, you know, again, no big deal. I guess might as well get some better views of her here. Ones, like I say, you don't see in production photos <laughs> or uh, promo shots. She's got a pretty good build on her. Um, they did a pretty good job sculpting this one. Uh, sculpted by, uh, what's his name, Bis Bisuji Max. I think that's what his nickname is. Um, not Gilgu, who we've seen... On uh, the last few releases, so she's looking good. I dig this one. Um, if uh, I don't know, it, it, they have enough uh, Tekken Bishojo stuff out now that I think that if uh, you're you're probably collecting all of them, like I am, uh, or maybe you're holding out, maybe JC's. I don't know. It seems like JC maybe not a favorite. I can see um, Christy or maybe Oscar. Um, but JC doesn't seem like a, I don't know, she's brand new for this game for Tekken Tag Tournament too, so uh, I'd be surprised if she had a very big fan base. But I just love the way this one's sculpted. I do like Julia Chan Chang uh, in the game. I like her fighting style. She's pretty, like, uh, hard-hitting. She's like a power character, and I dig that. Um, so there she is. Pretty cool. So up next, um, well, first of all, I still have... Uh, some Bishojo here that I haven't done reviews for. We've got uh, Storm, Electra, Poison Ivy, Invisible Woman, Black Cat, and uh, Storm and Rogue, or uh, Rogue and Phoenix. But uh, Rogue and Phoenix are pretty old, so. Uh, and then next to be released will be Lily. Um, I'm guessing is that that's the next Bishojo schedule for release is Lily. Um, so, you know, once Lily comes out, I'll probably, it'll force my hand to get uh, Asuka, not Asuka, God, Alyssa Boskanovich. <clears throat> and then I'll have them all. Uh, and then I guess there's rumors, you know, about, um, uh, well, it's at least rumors. I, I don't know if it's been confirmed or not that we're going to get Zhao Yu. Um, but at that point, if they do Zhao Yu, it seems like they need to do the rest, Anna and Nina, and uh, <laughs> the rest. Um, seems only right. So, uh, I'll do that review once I get her in. And, uh, and then we got um, Shadow Cat and Black Canary. Hopefully Chun-Li soon. I'm really hoping, fingers crossed, for Chun-Li. Um, but those will all be reviewed in due time when they're released. Hopefully we'll find out more for Comic-Con. I'm getting excited. Comic-Con time is almost upon us again. And uh, no no uh, mentions of any exclusives yet, but hopefully they've got a good one. I'd really appreciate uh, another Comic-Con exclusive. Anyway, thanks for checking me out. Uh, don't forget to uh, thumbs up, subscribe, check out my other videos. Um, I've got a lot of Bishojo reviews up now at this point. And uh, leave some comments. Thanks for checking me out.